Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Bootstrap 5 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In today's episode, we are going to learn about a utility class called Position. Position allows us to place an element at a given position by using the class position attributes. There are different properties and different classes that can be used. For example, there is fixed top, fixed bottom, position fixed, position static, position relative, and then there is sticky top. We'll learn all about them. We'll do some hands-on examples around it. Let's get started. This is part 38 of the Bootstrap 5 full tutorial playlist. I have planned around 40 tutorials. We are at number 38, pretty close to the completion of the series. Uh, <coughs> so make sure that you have checked out the entire playlist. Uh, this is the index where I've covered from ground zero, from basics to everything that Bootstrap 5 has to offer. We have done some live projects also in between, so make sure that you check them out as well. And today we are in episode number 38. We are learning about bootstrap position. All right, so, <clears throat> so position is used to place an element at a given place in the web page. Like I said, there are different properties that you can use like fixed top, fixed bottom, sticky top, then there is position fixed. And these are used to place in a particular location or the placement in the page. We'll see the difference, we'll see how they differ from each other and which one to use in an appropriate place. Let's get started with hands-on. For that, I'm going to use the template that we always use for Bootstrap 5 examples. And let's get started. So what I'm going to do, first I'm going to show you an example with fixed top. So if you see the nav bar, right, when you place it as fixed top, that means it will always be sticky at the top. To show that, I'm going to add few paragraphs just to increase the space and have that scrolling content in the page. I'm sure many of you are already aware with fixed top that can be used with navbar, but can it can have multiple use cases that you want to use. All right, we need to add some more. All right, that should be good. So now you see a scroll. And now when you scroll the page, that this is fixed top, so it won't move at all. It will be fixed at the top. Right. So not only navbar, you can basically place any element at the top, wherever you want it at position zero, you can have that. Now I'm going to add something about this div and I'm going to give the same fixed hyphen top. So this it will always be at top. Right. And I'm going to save this and remove this fixed top here. So now see, I've added a div, which is fixed top. So now on top of this, there will be a div, which is always at top. So if you see there is a div here, you can see you cannot read it, but I'm sure you can see that there is it's starting with th here, right? So this will always be at top. So that's the top one. If you scroll also, it will still be there. You can see here, this will always be at top. So any element that you want to make it at the top and fixed, you can use the class fixed hyphen top. That's one of the position classes that's available. So that was about fixed top. Then let's say you want to fix a particular element in the page, right? Let's say you can also use something called position fixed. This will be fixed after the navbar. So see here, now I've added a div inside this main content, right? Now this I have given position fixed, which means that is fixed, see? But it is not at the top. If you want something at the top, you have to use fixed hyphen top. If you want something right here, then you can use position fixed. That will be fixed at this particular location of the page, wherever you place it. Now same thing, if I take this and take it to the down, let's say I want it at the bottom of the page. So you can use fixed hyphen so fixed hyphen top is for placing the element at the top. Same way, opposite of it, fixed hyphen bottom will get the element to the top bottom of the page here. And when you scroll, you can see that it, you see here, it's already fixed. This will be fixed after the nap bar, right? So if you want to place a, something like a cookie or something like a, a menu, which should always be fixed at the bottom, you need to use the class fixed hyphen bottom. All right, moving to the next one. So there is one more, let's say in a use case where you want some content to scroll, okay? And then it should get sticky, okay? 
now this will be scrollable content see it will scroll right now what I want is after certain paragraphs I want some div and when user comes to this it should get sticky so you should use the class sticky hyphen top what will happen is it will scroll and then come to the div and hold it so see here it's scrolling it's scrolling it will scroll till here and this will get fixed see here it got fixed here after certain scrolling in the page right so this is called sticky top the opposite of it is sticky bottom right so these are the main classes when you work with utility class one is fixed hyphen top to place it at the top fixed hyphen bottom will place the element at the bottom of the viewport and then you have position fixed if you want to fix something at a certain position you have sticky hyphen top to place it stickiness that means stick it after a, after a scroll after certain elements in the page that's when you use sticky top then you have sticky bottom which is after a certain scroll make it sticky at the bottom so these are the main five uh, classes utility classes of position that you will work with there are other things which are just like your position attribute you can use position hyphen static position hyphen relative these are all just like your CSS uh, position property so they will behave exactly same nothing different but important things that you will work with is these utility classes I hope it the class and utility position is clear um, if you have any doubts any queries feel free to reach out to me in the comment section I will try and help you as much as I can I hope you are enjoying this series. We are coming to an end of this series in another three episodes, but we'll continue. I'll keep bringing some more tutorials on Bootstrap for you, so stay tuned for that also. If you like my work in tutorials, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash tutorials. In the next episode, I'll cover and talk about Bootstrap border, different variations, how you can use them. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.